Hello, my YouTube fam. Happy Monday. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is not all together because it's Monday and, you know, I got. I think I got to sleep, but I'm just, Mondays are like the hardest for me to like uh, get going to. And I even had a small frappuccino this morning, hoping the caffeine would like perk me up and it hasn't kicked in yet. But, um, so bear with me. I'm going to be all over this video. Oh gosh, I got to sneeze. Is it gone? Okay, I think it's gone. <laughs> so, but, um, this video is like, uh, well, just, okay, let's, let me start off with, like, I was to say that I've been maybe 24, I've been over 24 hours without any soda. Yay! <laughs> so I'm all excited. Uh, like yesterday, yesterday morning I just woke up, which was Sunday. I woke up and I was just like, man, I'm tired of, like, feeling this way feeling like crap and my body hurting and um all the time you know and i know it's because of my weight i know that 100 percent. i've been through this before you know so and i woke up yesterday morning i was like i'm done i'm done like feeling like th like this and i know what i have to do in order to um not just drop the weight but be healthy you know and um so i was like okay and i made my mind up yesterday and um so i have decided it to cut out all sodas which is which that's gonna be a little hard but I think I'll be okay so all sodas gone fast food gone and I, I'm gonna share my little fast food story with you guys it's quite sad and um, no more cookies and um, sugary sweets like that except for maybe as a treat you know like I might even have like a soda maybe once or twice a month a small one as like a treat but uh, not the way I've been drinking my hair looks like I haven't brushed it you guys I trust me, I've brushed it. I've brushed it. Jeez. All right. Um, but I'm cutting out all that junk food and stuff like that because I know that it's not healthy for me. And, you know, yes, I need to lose weight. I seriously do. But honestly, I want to, more than anything, I just want to be healthy. And I want to, I want everything to stop hurting. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. But, um, so, okay. So yeah, yesterday I made my mind up. I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to stop. I'm, and I know soda is not good, not just for, um, because of all the sugar, but I've been drinking soda since I was like five years old. Okay. And it actually has caused the enamel on my front teeth right here to like erode. Like I can't get that enamel back. So <laughs> I'm always afraid that I'm going to crack my teeth or something because, um, or crack these teeth are going to crack because there's no there's nothing really supporting those teeth anymore and i mean that's how much soda i've drank over the years i um i'm 38 years old and i've been drinking soda since i was like five and uh i can't get that enamel back you know and i've got cavities from all the sugary stuff i've had in my you know uh that i've had in my life and um it's not healthy it's not good so anyway i'm gonna keep going down this rabbit trail so i woke up yesterday morning and i was like I was like, I'm done feeling this way. I, I know I can do this. I've done it before. And <clears throat> so I was like, okay, it's time to eradicate all the garbage and crap from my life as far as food and drinks and stuff like that go. And, and it, of course, it's summer here in Texas now. It's like anywhere between 95 and 98 to 100 degrees. So I'm definitely going to be drinking more water and hydrating myself with Gatorade. So sodas, it's not going to be a big Saying goodbye to soda is not going to be a big deal because soda dehydrates you. So I don't want to be dehydrated. I want to hydrate myself. All right. And I was like, okay. And so I remember I woke up and instead of having like going to McDonald's to get like sausage McMuffins and a Frappuccino, I, um, I had a bowl of Rice Krispie cereal, which has a bunch of, excuse me, vitamins and nutrients in it. And, and I've been eating like I have these like Lara bars these vegan Lara bars they're really really good I love apple pie so good and I've been having that and I have had um I've been eating salads with grilled chicken on top you know I just I'm exchanging the bad food for the good pretty much so except for this morning uh, oh no oh gosh yesterday yesterday it was like yesterday evening I remember I went to Aldi to pick up some groceries right and my head was splitting because my body was going through like a caffeine withdrawal. And the, there was a worker outside next to the carts. He was, um, 
And I put my quarter in and I got the cart to go inside. And he's like, hey, here, do you, would you like a wipe to wipe down your cart? I was like, no, thanks. He's like, are you sure? I was like, if I wanted a freaking wipe, I would take one, okay? And he's like, have a nice day. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, I was like, geez, man, that poor Aldi work. I'm so sorry. I mean, <laughs> oh God. But I apologize to him. But I, after, after I came home from Aldi, I told my husband, I was like, I got to get me some caffeine before I literally like, uh, you know, burn my house down because <laughs> it was bad. My head was like, whoosh. I was bad. And, um, so we did, we actually went to three different McDonald's to find me a frappe because, um, the one by my house, they never have frappes on Sunday for some odd reason. It's, I think it's conspiracy, I tell you. <laughs> but uh, they never have, offer them on Sundays. And then we went to another one that's kind of down the road. And they didn't have small. They offered like medium and large. I didn't want all that sugar. So we went to um, another McDonald's. We have a whole bunch in my town. <laughs> we went to another one on Main Street. And they had, and I had a small frappe. And like after like two sips of that, my headache went completely gone. I was like, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> and I felt normal again. But, and it's okay that I had that because I didn't have really any sugar yesterday. So, um, another thing I, ha I am going to cut out a, a lot of is sugar and salt because um, I have high blood pressure. I, I've had high blood pressure since, I don't know, my 20s. And I've known this. And I was on medication for a while. But I don't have a doctor. So, but I can easily probably just go, and go into a, like, an urgent care or something and be like, Hey, can you write me a prescription for Lisinopril, please? <laughs> But uh, I haven't done that. And I'm 100% sure I have high cholesterol or something because I've never been tested, I don't think. No, I have been. I think it was 2017 when I went for a physical. And my numbers were just a little elevated, but the doctor wasn't concerned about that. But I'm pretty sure I have high cholesterol because, I mean, like, I've been eating, like, crap for many, 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 many years. Like, I'm addicted to fast food. I really am. I love fast food. I love, like, I love McDonald's. I'm loyal to it. I mean, like, I used to work there on many different occasions, <laughs> but I love McDonald's and I, and, um, <clears throat> it's not healthy to eat that though. You know, it's really not except for like occasionally. Oh my goodness. But, um, so I'm trying to break that. I'm trying to break that. Um, those habits, like break the bad habits and create new ones, you know? So I'm working on that and I need you all to encourage me and keep me, keep me like motivated. You know, I thought I heard a phone ring. My phone's right here. Okay, I'm hearing stuff now, you guys. <laughs> but okay. Oh, you see my lipstick lip? Mm, my husband got me some lipstick the other day. Where is it? Hold on. Mm. It's hard. Let me show you. It's called Really Red. Do you see this? Look at that. That's crazy. But because my hair's gotten darker over the years, it used to be blonde. And I haven't dyed my hair since like 2012. And when I dyed it in 2012, I dyed it red. <laughs> but so I thought about like using, I know it's like so 80s, but I thought about using sun in in my hair to lighten it back up to like what it used to look like, like blondish. But I don't have any energy for that either because then I'd have to go walk around outside or, uh, or whatever. And I just don't want to do that right now. It's too hot. So where was I going with this? Oh, let me show you guys. Okay. Oh, by the way, well, hold on. Let me show you this picture. This is what I used to look like. I was not always this fat, you guys. Look, you see, look how skinny I was. <laughs> I, I, that's a bad, I mean, I'm not smiling, but like, look how skinny I was, guys. Like, that wasn't taken in 2012. I, that was when I, um, I actually went raw vegan and, for six months, which means I ate um, nothing but like fresh fruits, fresh vegetables seeds nuts um drink nothing but water and i exercised twice a day uh back then i once at the gym and once at home and i lost 105 pounds in six months i don't know if that was healthy or not but i i did it <laughs> so and at that time yeah i was 100 and i was 175 in that picture i don't know if i'm gonna get back down to that but um, when I weighed myself yesterday morning, I was like, and I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that it was going to be kind of a high number because I had gotten weighed at my psychiatrist's office, like back in December. And I was, and I wasn't surprised because I knew I've gained weight. I could tell my clothes are tighter and stuff like that. So I wasn't surprised, but I was just kind of, I looked at that number on the scale and I was like, I was like, oh God, 
God. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I got some work to do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be exercising much. You know what? I'm, I don't care. Y'all can do. Look, you see my fridge right there? Where is it? Right. You see my fridge? Yes, it's cluttery. I don't care. <laughs> so, anyways, um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Like, I don't have a gym membership. And I don't, I wouldn't mind going walking outside if it wasn't like 100,000 degrees. But I also, I don't have any walking shoes. And we don't really have air conditioning in our house. We have, we have a small AC unit upstairs and we have an industrial strength fan downstairs and it's actually fairly cool in our house believe it or not um we're surrounded by trees and um i keep the blinds closed except for when i make videos <laughs> but um <clears throat> i i don't want to like kill myself in this heat just to like try and drop weight as soon as i as fast as i can so i'm just right now i'm just starting mm -hmm. on focusing on on um changing my eating habits and my drinking habits and um and plus i have enough i have a lot to do in this house i'm not going to just sit back and like do absolutely nothing i mean my house is like a mess and you might be like why don't you clean it well i try but my husband keeps making more messes every day so <laughs> oh my gosh oh, but uh so i have stuff to keep my keep me going and my heartbeat going up and um yeah all right so yeah, cheer me on because I need some I need some encouragement and motivation. And if any of you want to be like um oh what are they called? Like um oh gosh, what's they called? Like motivational partner or something. <coughs> where we just um where we check in with one another if you need if you need you need someone, we can do it. We can do it together, you know. Um oh you see this? Okay. So, okay. June 18th, which is Thursday, right? What day is it? Hold on. Monday. Okay. Yes. June 18th is, will be me and my husband's 19 year wedding anniversary. I can't believe my mom was all like, I can't believe you've been married 19 years. I'm like, you can't believe it. I was like, I was like, try being married to the guy. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. But, um, yeah, I was just like, that is crazy. It's been, that means next year's our 20 year wedding anniversary. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I'm not going to tell you what I got my husband in case he watches this video, but you see this cell phone right here. I'm going to say goodbye to that because on Friday, on Friday on the 19th, I'm getting me a brand new cell phone as my anniversary present. And I cannot wait. And I cannot wait to take this thing and literally throw it against the wall <laughs> because it has caused me nothing but stress and and sadness and devastation and <laughs> no i'm not gonna throw it against the wall but i'm getting me a new cell phone on friday and i cannot wait <clears throat> so that will be my anniversary present um what else oh let me share with you like i've gotten some new cds lately hold on most of them are christian except one let me share with you the one non-christian cd i received now, y'all know I'm a huge Journey fan. I got Journey's Red 13 album, which uh, it, these were just the songs that were supposed to be on the Arrival album, but didn't make the cut. And the songs on here are Red 13, State of Grace, The Time, Walking Away from the Edge, and I Can Breathe. Fantastic, fantastic. It's literally out of print in stores. You can't really find it in stores. Uh, I ordered mine off, I think I got it off Amazon, or was it eBay? I don't know, but my, my collection, my journey collection is almost complete as far as CDs go. <laughs> and then as far as like Christian CDs, I got Michael W. Smith's Awaken, fantastic CD, seriously. And I have some of his other CDs. I have no idea where they are. They're not in my CD collection. They're not in my car. I have no idea what happened to them. And I want to listen to those CDs and I can't because I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they, I, they accidentally got left in the car that got repossessed a couple of years ago. I don't know, but I'm kind of bummed about it. <laughs> and I, okay, anyway, I got Chris Tomlin's How Great Is Our God, which, you know, this CD is awesome because when I worked at McDonald's, they would play, they always had the local Christian radio station playing, and most of the songs that were on it were from Chris Tomlin. So I know a lot of these songs already. 
And then the other CD I've received or got was Matt Redman's Sing Like Never Before, The Essential Collection. And it's another, they used to play a lot of Matt Redman as well on that Christian radio station at McDonald's. And so I love these CDs. Absolutely love them. I actually, am I should be getting another CD soon. <clears throat> it's coming through me Media Mail, which is going to take like, you know, I might receive it by Christmas, but sorry, I got an itch. I'm getting, I um, ordered... <clears throat> Jonathan Cain's CD, it's called, it's titled More Like Jesus, and um, I hope he signed it. I asked him to sign it for me via Twitter, but we'll see. <laughs> That's coming. It should, I don't know where it's at. I ordered it like May 20th, maybe, or something. Where is it? Come on. <laughs> but, um, so I'll be getting that in the mail. Oh my goodness. I need some water, and I need to get this lipstick off, because I don't wear makeup very often. So, all right, but... I just wanted to get that out there and I hope that, you know, if you're looking for like, uh, to have like a partner to motivate you to like drink more water or, you know, take more walks or whatever, hit me up here on YouTube and we can like be, we can be like motivational partners and accountability partners. That's what it is. So we can do it together. All right, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I am going, um, I think this week's going to be a good week. I'm also hoping to meet a Twitter friend on Thursday on our anniversary. Well, we shall see. I hope he'll, he'll still come through. I have to uh, contact him and ask him, but I will let you know more. All right, you guys have a fantastic day. Okay. Bye.